Terrorism and Propaganda by Stan Rawls Robinson. Propaganda is having a viewpoint and trying to mislead, convince, influence, etc. to try and get people to agree with your view. Terrorism is a form of propaganda because they have a belief, and if you do not agree with their beliefs, then they take it. That is disrespect, and they believe in violence. Over the years, terrorists have found ways to get their message around the world. Recently, they have found an effective way to decode and spread their messages through mainstream media. They have been decoding their messages using propaganda and been able to spread it through mass medias like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and etc. Terrorists attack terrorists terrorists attract young young people heavenly heavenly because grabbing their by grabbing their attention through appeal. They dress like ninjas or video game warriors, gangsters and thuggish. The jihad the jihadist the jihadist female which is female terrorist never show their face and always are wearing a bomb belt and strapped with AK forty sevens. According to a little girl, she blogged that Jahais have cool weapons and cool nasheeds. They have they also have young fiery emims that fight on the battlefield. If one young girl is blogging something like that, it makes you wonder how many other little kids are even grown up how many other little kids or grown ups feel the same attraction to terrorists? So because terrorists have younger kids' attention, it's easier for terrorists to persuade them. Another way terrorists are spreading their message through propaganda is always being in the news. It is difficult to ignore something when it's constantly being presented. This is one of the ways that terrorists aim to compete to keep themselves relevant. Some recent attacks that have been claimed of terrorist activity were in Brussels, or France, and in San Bernardino, California. Terrorists result new members to terrorists recruit new members to join their cause by using websites and social media platforms to share their propaganda and to manipulate other people's beliefs. In particular, they target young people because they are often in, enticed by the structure and community aspects of something is so important. They have their own websites, different profiles on different social media sites. They do this because they want to befriend people who show different interests in what they're saying. They become friends on the social media sites and their friends see their posts. This grows the terrorist propaganda message, thus exposing more people to the messages and gaining more sympathy from their followers. Why is propaganda why ISIS propaganda works? I want to start off by saying that Islamic State information operations are more prolific than ever before. Social media platforms such as Twitter are being more aggressive with trying to slow down ISIS propaganda. However, it is still working because they are becoming more skilled at the various ways in which they reach their audience. The media is quick to report things that are wrong, that are done wrong, so in effect, the media is actually aiding ISIS with, without even trying. Whether it is fake or real, people are being exposed to the ISIS propaganda, which only helps their causes. ISIS has excelled at manipulating their supporters and readers by creating fake news and making it reality. This puts people in a hard position to try to determine whether what they read is real or fake. Either way, ISIS is pulling them and gaining supporters. Even the CNN poll on the slide that you see depicts numbers that are quite serious. It almost doesn't matter if ISIS is a threat or not in reality because the American people <clears throat> think that ISIS is a threat, which is about 90%. Even they, even if they weren't actually a threat, their perceived status makes them so. How is the U.S. affected? America is affected because they are put into a tough position with its backs against the wall. They are trying to inform people on who these terrorists are, but the more and more America shows these extremists on television, they are actually playing the hand that terrorists are trying to achieve. America needs to come up with a strategy to be able to continue to inform the nation without giving terrorists what they want. This balance between information and fear, and fear about ISIS is necessary for America to continue to hold strong without being scared into terrorist tactics. How a terrorist group effectively sees control over the coverage of his acts. When it comes to propaganda and social media, ISIS propaganda 
are strategic from the time of their releases, their mediums, their carefully chosen wording, and event the language choice of how they released their first message in. Following the Brussels attack, ISIS used social media as an advantage to spread information to Western countries. They submitted a release with no new information and repeated details. Releasing the claim in English was done on purpose because of the fact that Western countries are the enemy of ISIS. This intentional release helped them start their message with shock and anger, which is more newsworthy and gained more media attention. By pulling but by pulling off operations like the Brussels attack and then expertly capitalizing on the media storm that follows, ISIS can manipulate on the messages that are sent real or fake.